All right, let's see if I can make a quick and useful video here. Uh, to test this on the bench, I set up a little lab-grade power supply. Uh, just a random head unit that I found. The big mess is mostly because all the head units I've got sitting around are um, soldered and heat shrunk to a harness, and I didn't feel like taking them apart. Um, these two power supply connections go to um, right here. Those are the power connections on the head unit. The second two go to the power connections on um, the USS-10. And then I have one of the speaker outputs wired to that green and yellow wire, which are connected to both sides of um, the high-level speaker inputs on the sub. Right now I have it set to auto start and if I power up the head unit powers up, I'm drawing power I do have a signal, I'm not getting anything out of this up, I don't have any speakers connected. Now if I take and disconnect and reconnect Now I can also repeat that with, well, let me kill this for a second. Alright, we'll let the green LED go out. Oh, and actually note here, when I turn this back on, green LED does not turn on. Again, unplug and plug it back in. And we have output. Let's turn it off. Here, I'll take and switch this to not auto sensing, and I'll add this little jumper across the positive and the remote terminal, so essentially green LED turned on. And if I turn this back on, again, no output. Now, if I disconnect the speaker cables and reconnect them, hard to do with my left hand. I have output again. So essentially, neither the remote turn on or the automatic turn on are working correctly on this. And I have two of them doing exactly the same thing in the truck.